How's it going? Well dressed tonight. <laughs> yeah. So would I be in trouble if I challenged Feral Brown to a race right now? Ah. You would definitely be in trouble, yes. Because <laughs> he loses? Yes. Yeah. Mark, what did you feel like you accomplished today? Uh, good day. Overall, really good day. Um, again, a little bit more situational stuff this afternoon. We did two overtime periods. Um, you know, mix and match the staff, mix and match the, the OD units. Uh, got some kicks in, got some made up penalties that back some teams up and some different scenarios to, to just try to get in as many game-like deals as we can. Um, really good special teams periods today. And then this morning was a, a walkthrough uh, only, so but a, a productive one. What have been your impressions of the kickers so far? Kicker, kicker's been good. Kickers yeah. have been good. Uh, uh, Maldonado's been consistent. Wogan has a really big leg. Um, and, uh, yeah, those guys have practiced well to Can this you point. get an idea of what Wogan's range is? Uh, you know, yesterday he made about a, what was that, 51-ish, uh, 52-ish, and had a ton of, ton of room. Was that but, under pressure, or was it just? Well, um, I mean, was it against a live? Trying to remember, no, it wasn't a live rush. Today we did a little bit more live rush um, scenarios. I'm trying to remember. Yesterday it was just uh, the the field goal unit working. Yeah. Impressions of the overtime? How do you feel? Overtime, overtime. Uh, good, good. You know, there's it's always tough in overtime because in that situation it wasn't live. You know, it's not live, and there were, there were probably a couple times where Marcus probably would have scored on one or two of them. A tailback might have scored on one or two of them. Uh, but just try to blow it dead to uh, part of that to, to get a few more plays in and part of that to, to put some pressure on the kickers. When the, going back to kickers, is there a, uh, could you foresee having, you know, using Bogan on long field goals and Maldonado on short stuff, or, or is that just one guy's job to have? Uh, that's not something we would eliminate, mm -hmm. you know, uh, so there's a bad answer. But, yeah, it's, what, it's, that's a possibility. What's any, your preference, any, though, having one guy or? Don't have a preference. The guy to make the field goal. That, yeah. that would be preference. It's been a while since it. Oregon has really kicked the ball deep into the end zone or out of the end zone. It's been that sideline yeah. stuff. Is that something you'd like to be able to do? Or <laughs> you like that sideline? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. If you can, if you can get a touchback every single time, line it up. Let's we'll, we'll put our chips in right now and take that. But um, and and uh, we had a couple touchbacks in the in the or we had one touchback out of two kicks in the in the uh, scrimmage the other day, so that's that's a good percentage and, and uh, trying to make it higher. Take that over potentially pinning him and trying to get him inside Definitely, the definitely, yeah. Is I mean, if you, if, if you can say 100% of the time you're going to touch back, that's a good bet. Has there been any separation there, kickers? Yet? Not really, not really, um, uh, which is fine. You know, it's a competitive situation, um, and, and we, there's still time. Hunting still good competition too, or is it? Punting is, yeah. The the uh, Oz was going to talk to those guys, and I don't want to say that before we've talked to them. There's there's, there's a couple guys that have separated themselves a little bit, um, but it's still a, a healthy com competition between those two. It's a plan for the competition to carry through next week, and then the depth chart potentially going into game week. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you know, if you really, really had your druthers, you after that our next scrimmage next week, you would you would pin everything down, but. Competition's great, you know, we like competition and especially we've got a ton of young guys that are pushing guys uh, and special teams, little kids going crazy, that's always good. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the tough, good decisions are the ones of, of a, a true freshman de defensive back or somebody that, hey, do we, do we burn this guy because he can start on three special teams or four special teams uh, versus, you know, holding out for the next year. Those are, those are tough decisions that we'll have to make. So that'll be the same with red shirts too? Yeah, that's that's the exact decision. Is is do you do you you know quote unquote burn this guy because you could you could forecast him starting on four special teams, which is very valuable, versus a guy that that's committed to be a position player. And we want our guys to just think of themselves as Oregon Duck football players. They're not you know a right corner. Have you been Tuesday as a scrimmage day again? Um, is it Tuesday or Wednesday next week? Actually, twenty second. Thursday. Like I was saying, Thursday. Thursday. He's not the best in the business for nothing right there. Uh, next Thursday. Okay. Yep. Did you get a chance to see Marcus's uh, SI cover? I haven't. I did give him a bad time about it, though. I haven't seen it. What did yeah. you say to him? I, I don't know. Cover boy and something else on top of that. Yeah. How do you take that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just very Marcus-like. Yeah. All right.